heading out from the Super 8 on our way to Duncannon. Did you just salute? No, I wasn't. <laughs> Oh, if only you had sunglasses that you might, that you mock someone for wearing. I don't mock you. That's true. It's not cool enough. My sunglasses are very cool. <gasps> what? I saw that. I saw what? Yeah, on to Duncannon. It is day 96. I think so. Day 96. And the tornadoes didn't come in, but... It's nice to be in a hotel anyway, even if it was just the Super 8. And not not to speak ill of the Super 8, because uh, it is a budget hotel. It wasn't so super. The, um, I think we had slightly unfair expectations set by the one in Daleville, which was really not, which was quite nice. This one was has definitely seen better days. Um, it definitely needs. Uh, more, more cleaning, better cleaning, um, and just like work done to improve. Oh God, we're gonna die here. Um, but yeah, so it's it was definitely a budget ho yeah, hotel stay uh, in terms of like the quality. Uh, it's it was fine, like you know, in terms of. There weren't, you know, bed bugs or you know, or rats or any, you know, any of that kind of stuff. It was just, it's a little dirty, a little run down, uh, a little, um, just poor all round, really. The like the water pressure in the shower wasn't great. The the what the the water heat was okay, but not like it wasn't fantastic. Yeah, just just. Yeah, meh. But as a place to shelter from the reported tornadoes and thunderstorms, it was it was fine. Right, look, we're heading to Duncannon today. Uh, it's about 17, 18 miles once we get back on trail. Uh, and that looks to be like a really... Um, picturesque little town and we've got uh, we've got a couple of bunks in a place called Kind of Outdoorsy which is a like an outfitter slash hostel slash thing um, their AC is broken so they've got portable ACs in there as they said but it's like 25 bucks for, for a bed so can't complain about that but we'll see what, we'll see what it's like when we get there um and from the um, like the text chats we have going on, it sounds like maybe Sass and Bl um, Blessings might not be too far behind. So could have a, a, a little tramway reunion soon, which would be cool. This road is not at all sketchy. Definitely going to survive this. Um, there's a so the bridge we're going to is just up here but there's no actual like way up to it. So you're gonna have to, gonna have to uh, climb up a little side trail on it. It's, it's funny what becomes like acceptable and normal to you uh, when you're through hiking. Just, I'll show you the, you know, the typical, if, you, if you've ever seen bridges like this, you know, on overpasses, you know, there's always something where someone has kind of clambered down the side. So there, there's the uh, the trail up. Fun times. Anyway, happy hiking. Okay, we are up. I don't recall seeing this when we got down yesterday. There's a boot with a beer inside it. Interesting. Yeah, this is the 11, Highway 11 or whatever. Cross over it. Like, we wondered if maybe there was a like a stairs down this side, but there really isn't. So, yeah, to get down and into those, it is definitely a scramble off into nothingness. Yeah, it looks like maybe that's the. Yeah, this is the same as same as the other side, right? Just a 
side trail that staggers you down into traffic. Safe! <laughs> anyway, fun time. Great little uh, farm stand there. Raw egg, milk, mm. eggs, fresh fruit, cold drinks. Cool, very cool. And then the trail goes over here. So we're walking along the side of this creek, which Farrah said is not good for a water source because it's got a lot of um, runoff from the farms. But there are people back there kayaking in it and paddleboarding and fishing off of the paddleboard, like just lazily floating down on the river. Very, very cool, <laughs> very tempting. But we're hiking, because we're idiots. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think I'm an idiot. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, this is uh, left. Yeah, this is all lovely. Again, return to the, uh, to the slightly muddy and slippy footpath that has been like basically this whole section it's flat so i'm guessing it just doesn't drain very well um but yeah it's uh it's not too bad it just it seems like every time our shoes get dry and and clean of the dirt we can go through another section fun times i got no idea what this is or how the hell it's got up here it looks like a, a car <sighs> That's so random. Yeah. Weird. It's supposed to be a view around here. Um, but yeah, nothing really. The, the trees are all too overgrown to see out there. You can kind of see into the valley, which looks pretty amazing. That's a steep little climb. Um, more or less, so there's a few switchbacks and stuff, and then like a nice little straight up for a little while. Um, yeah, reminded me of uh, some of the earlier climbs. No, again, not very big. Maybe I can't remember what the total elevation climb is for this oh here we go here's the view okay yeah that's pretty cool and then there's this which is i guess a seat so i'm gonna sit Ugh. and then that's the view so yeah that's pretty pretty awesome you can see so far out into the distance. I don't know if we walked down any of this, but yeah, that's pretty spectacular. Okay, just had lunch at Darlington Shelter. Uh, nice little shelter. Uh, but yeah, pushing on now. Gonna do a little down and then a climb up. Uh, Cove Mountain shelters in another like seven and a half miles uh, so probably stop again there for a little break um, running a little low on water just because this section doesn't really have any um, it's all uh, up until um, here it's all been farmland and um, so the water is is you know, basically farm runoff so they advise not drinking from it uh, just because you know all the livestock and whatever. Um, filters can do so much, but they aren't you know, perfect from that kind of perspective. And so who knows what else is in there. Um, I'm sure it'd probably be okay, but uh, And so, yeah, we're not quite yet out of the, um, the restricted area. Um, so that was the, that Darlington shelter there was the, was kind of the, represents the, the north end of, of that um that whole run so you can go from one to the to the I can't, alan Ken alec kennedy maybe shelter in the south um but yeah i mean it's a pretty little section it's great i'm 
glad we broke it up. Um, and I'm also glad that it wasn't crazy, crazy hot like it had been, um, you know, last week, possibly the week before, even where, you know, with real high humidity, because that would have sucked to have to camel water for such a, you know, long sections. Um, so, yeah, I definitely could do, could use some uh, trail magic water caches or whatever to people to drop them off. That would be fantastic. But we we got through it. It's all fine. Uh, temperature is is real real nice today. Like the the thunderstorms um, from the last couple of days definitely seem to have cleared a lot of the humidity, and the temperature has dropped down to. I think it might be about um, 22 or maybe 60s, maybe mid 60s Fahrenheit. Um, but it, whatever, it is, it is nice and cool. Um, it's still warm generally, um, but like there's not that humid, uh, like humidity in the air. So I'm trying not to die as I stumble down these. Uh, down this gentle slope downhill. Anyway, yeah, lunch out of the way, time to push on. See the, uh, the sun ducking behind clouds as the clouds roll across. This is really pretty and kind of not what I was expecting from the AT. I thought maybe we'd, I'd be up there, yeah, all the time, hidden in the green tunnel, but this, Again, it's, it's just beautiful. So green, so lush. So this is the about the only water source we've had all day, to be honest. Yeah, um, there was one before the shelter. Yeah, oh, there, there was one before the shelter, but like this section is just dry now. This is a lovely water source, um, and. You know, normally you might be tempted to step over onto that rock and uh, dunk your water bottle in here, but somebody has tried it. I'm guessing they weren't very happy about it. Nah. Though. Now, normally, very much a, we're very much advocates for leave no trace, right? Mm -hmm. Leave no trace. That looks like it's been there a half minute. Though. But this is a this is a, a a community service note rather than a trace that's been there. So, so I give thumbs up for that, and saved me at least getting one wet foot but i think i may have got two because i think i would have fallen in and it's warm but it's not that warm today i would have been sad if i missed that yes i should have hidden it uh and then over there real nice little campsite um right by this water source yeah looks like that would be a nice place to camp oh, like this but anyway We've got a ridgeline to climb and a town called Duncannon to reach. Duncannon, we are about to be in you. <laughs> now, I know we're not in it yet, like the section, but, you know, this is the kind of thing that you picture when they talk about Roxylvania. Now, this is mo mainly for a reference, because I know it's going to get worse, but yeah, when the trail is all these rocks, that, you know, small rocks with like jagged little edges, give you, like batter your feet, make it really difficult to get a rhythm going. Like, look at this, this is, oh, this is so terrible. Now again, uh, this is mainly for frame of reference as we, as I pick my way through this. Not too bad little rock field. Uh, yeah, this is out. This is the kind of thing that in my head, I originally pictured for Roxylvania, like just a whole you know, trail full of yucky little rocks designed to kind of roll the ankles and twist you and batter your feet, rip your shoes up. Ah, I'm sure it will never get any worse than this. Future Soap, don't judge me for jinxing this. 
because again I'm pretty sure I know it gets a lot lot worse <laughs> so the sign said view and I guess it's pretty good yeah that's not bad you can see like maybe there is like a river I'm not sure which river it is but yeah it's a pretty good view This is a, a gas line, so cut. So you can see if I go down a little bit, you can see that it goes. You know, the line of, of in the cut into the trees goes all the way on and on and on, where they <laughs> cut down all the trees to to sink the gas lines in, rather than the power lines. Interesting that they do power lines and gas lines on different things, I guess. Um, um, maybe on some places they, they have them both in them. Yeah. Now, it looks as if... So I'll show you the where... So I come down this path. Uh, it looks like maybe there's a cut back up to the AT there. Uh, but I dumped my pack because I wasn't sure how far it was going to be. And then I'm going to walk back. Yeah, and there's a lot of... There's a lot of uh, people who don't do blue blazes or, you know, side tracks because it's extra miles to walk. And I get that, especially if you're on a time limit or whatever. But I just, I figure that, like, why would you want to skip stuff? Um, well, you can, so, yeah, here's a little science's view. It doesn't necessarily tell you that the AT is going to go up there. But, yeah. But anyway, yeah, so, like... I don't know why people would skip views, because um, what, what are you out here for if you're not if you're not going to enjoy the scenery? And you know, there have been plenty of views that we've you know that I've missed because it's been socked in, or um, you know the weather's been you know miserable, so I've not wanted to stop, or um, you couldn't see anything, or um, sometimes you know the the trees have grown over, so you can't actually see anything at all, but. Like where possible, I, I just feel like yeah, makes sense to come and see these as much as possible. Yeah. Anyway, more hiking. This ridge line has been a lot of fun. Um, and the rocks have kind of disappeared for now, but for a long period I've been like rock hopping and it's been cliffs up on the right hand side. It's been, it's been fun. I mean, my feet are hurting a little bit because, you know, I've been taking a little bit of a pounding on some of these rocks. But it's been, I'd say, a lot of fun. i kind of flown by it, to be honest. Uh, coming up to a, a, an overview of a view, I think, that will show look down into Duncannon. Uh, but yeah, excited. Okay. The wind's picked up and it's getting a bit, uh, a bit hectic up here. But uh, this is Hawk Mountain, Hawk Rock or something. Um, and I guess I'll give you a quick pan this way. So the view is pretty good. And then over this way, you can see Duncannon down here on the cove of the river. So I'll give you a better, I'm going to go up on the ledge and give you a better shot, but this is pretty nice. Heading down there, it's only a, less than a couple of miles, so. Ha, ah, lovely. Let's see a third eagle or something soaring around. Very cool. And then, so yeah, again, this is, stunning. And if I look down here, there's a river. A crow, a giant crow, or raven, maybe. This is, yeah, pretty spectacular.
So it looks like this is a pretty popular place for uh, day hikers and visitors. Um, you can see the uh, the stairs, like carved like rocks that are placed as stairs. Seen a fair few um, day hikers heading up, uh, and a few who turned up when we were up there, uh, which is great. Great to see that. I did have to pick up a bunch of trash, uh, so there was uh, an empty water bottle and like a Ziploc bag with some mouldering fruit and stuff in it, which yeah, I've picked up, I've packed out um, to get rid of it. Um, it's a shame when people leave trash. Yo, know, obviously we we very much you know, most of the trail is leave no trace. Uh, most of it we you know, doesn't have any trash, so it's always a little jarring when you come across and find when you find stuff. Um, yeah, we're heading down and say that's like less than two miles to to the to the to the town to Duncannon. Uh, we'll be on there fairly soon. There's Gadget procrastinating. Shift your ass. <laughs> she makes me wait for her and then she just stands there putting her audio book in. Ah, oh. right, it's fine. Yeah. You probably heard some of the day hikers who were maybe not enjoying the climb as much as they thought they would. But yeah, like it's a, it's a pretty, looks pretty easy down, like steep, but with it, with these boulders and um, you know, steps kind of put in place. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. Yeah, uh, we'll see. Again, going into kind of outdoorsy, which is the, the place. Uh, and then there's a laundry mat next door. Uh, and I'm not sure what we'll do for food. There is a, uh, like a, an old hotel Doyle's, which is apparently great for food and stuff. So we might go there or might check that out tomorrow. Who knows, but I'll uh, hopefully get some more footage tonight, but it depends on how exhausted I am by the time we, we finish and do laundry and whatever. Hi. So we're just road walking into Duncannon. There's a big Ford dealership up there. There's seven of them up there. Lovely. Sorry, I'm not sure what my beard scratching was going on there. Um, yeah, it's a it's an interesting little uh, interesting town by the looks of things. Like a mix of maybe kind of quaint stuff, and then. You know, it's right on the train line, so maybe it's also a little bit of a, a big town in some senses. But yeah, it's uh, very interesting. I'll switch to front view, you don't need to see me. And this is, uh, I guess, downtown Duncannon. After you. Oh, she's getting in a car. Yeah, this is cool. So there's the uh, trail laundry on the left up here. So it's a 24 hour laundry. It has coin machines and a whole bunch of washers and sodas and an ATM and change so it has it all in there there's a pizza place opposite so you can go and get some pizza while you do laundry I think this is my bit. Ah. Oh, this is a thrift store. Oh, this is it. Kind of outdoorsy. Outdoor snack machine. 
Oh, they do the darn tough exchange. But I don't. I've thrown away my darn, my other one. So you're just gonna figure out how to get in. Oh, so actually, I think it's down the side. Oh, right, not there. Uh, so is it round back? Right, this is the entrance. Gadget's gonna destroy the thing, the poles. Hi. You going down? Yeah, I just, I wanted to get a better look. This is the entrance. Let's go. I'm not going to put the code on the internet. No, I won't say it out loud. Don't say it out loud. That's why I've come to this angle. And right So this is us. This is us. Okay, this is the Doyle and this is Okay, first of all those are my those are my loner clothes. <laughs> nice, but this is a hot honey and something naan. Some fries. What did you get? The Caesar salad? Chicken Caesar salad. Chicken Caesar salad. We had some jalapeno poppers. Mm hmm And this is the Doyle. It is very cool. They put the lights on for us. Gadget. Oh, this is Gadget, sorry. Main character Gadget. That's right. We are eating before we collapse. Yep. But Duncanon is great. If I don't post any more, Duncanon is awesome.